All right, the scream teams, disagreement meeting time. Yep. I. This is about Batfleck being chosen to be Batman in the Man of Steel sequel movie, and we're also probably talk about a little bit of Michael Cranston being Lex Luthor. But first, the biggest thing for us right now is I'm pro Batfleck, and he is not so much anti Batfleck. Now. What problem do you see with Bat Flick? Well, well, for starters, like with Ben Affleck himself, not just the if it was different direct if the director doesn't matter right now. Well, it's I just was gonna Batfleck. say, I was gonna say, Ben Affleck as Batman is uh, it's not gonna work because Ben Affleck is always playing Ben Affleck, and I do not see Ben Affleck ever, ever possibility ever being a Batman ever. When I saw him as Matt Murdock, and then as Daredevil, I couldn't even tell it was Ben Affleck, barely. Well, I haven't seen that movie in 10 years, so I don't really... I guess we'll watch it sometime later, but... And the director's cut, the good version everyone likes. Yeah, I'm actually kind of anxious to see that, actually. But, uh, people, like, uh... He did play... Dare- he didn't play Ben Affleck, he played... Like, he got into character really well, surprisingly. So you never know, he might be good, he might be bad. But the director... I mean, he's good for what he's done so far. But yeah, yeah. I mean, he did 300, Dawn of the Dead. The Watchmen. Watchmen, yeah. Then he did um, Sucker Punch, which uh, I heard that movie isn't that good. It was it was okay adoption from the book, but it could have been better. And then Guardians of... Uh, not Guardians of the Galaxy. It's the, with, with the owls. Anyway, uh, he he's one of those directors that he can make a good action flick, I admit. You know the new Superman. You know that was that's a pretty damn good Man, action. Was in pretty it. good. Three hundred had pretty good action. So in I it. can see the fight scene between Batman and Superman being pretty good. Yeah. But, but it's just I'm just hoping he can get the character of Bruce Wayne right because there's a big chance he might not, and there's a slight yeah that he will. Yeah, yeah. But I'm pro Batfleck. Actually, it sounds more like anti. Zack Snyder and pro Zack Snyder more than that than Ben Affleck. Yeah, I know because Zack Snyder can maybe direct a good action flick, but his characters are kind of boring, dull, and not very cool. The, the only one I actually liked was Warshack. Other than that, of, of all the characters he's had, I didn't really care for anybody else. That's how you get into that actor's really bad portrayal, Freddy Krueger. No, it wasn't really bad. It's just he didn't have a good it was director. Warshack's voice again. Because what the bad thing was, it was directed by Gary Liam, I think Samuel Bayer, and yeah, he had, you know he's, he had, a, he's a music video yeah. maker. But see, he's actually see Michael Bay was a music video person too, and well, he would just sit this Samuel whatever the fuck's name and fuck the guy. Anyway, he was he actually did a he actually did the music video of Nirvana's "Smells Like a Teen Spirit," and uh, I guess you know if you do a music video, I guess that makes you that means you're gonna be a great director, which it doesn't. But him and Michael Bay were best friends. For like twenty, like for like ten, fifteen years before that guy ever even made a full length movie. So then when Platinum Dune, which is owned by you know who, Michael Bay, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. But man, yeah, this this is not very much to argue, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're kind of agreeing on things too much. <laughs> yeah, we kind of are. Okay, look, freaking Zack Snyder. He cannot write. He's gonna be a he's gonna be a script writer with David S. Groyer, and David S. Groyer is an okay writer. But every movie he does that was good, they wrote. He always had a big director that directed it, that kind of helped him out. Well, this time, then the new man, is, or the uh, Batman vs. Superman movie. Guess what? Zack Snyder and him are writing a screenplay, and Zack Snyder is not a very good screenwriter. And when you have someone who's as layered as Batman, that just does not work for me. And then you have Ben Affleck. Who isn't really that layered of a... He never played that layered of a character. He always plays himself. Or something that's sort of like him. Because you can always tell it's Ben Affleck. Well, when you see Batman, he's like some dark, you know... Some dark figure who has like a disturbed past. And he just, you know, has a shitty life and all this shit. Well, well guess what? I, I, don't, I don't know about guess that. Guess what? Because... Ben Affleck? He freaking, uh... He don't have that. I see a few movies where he does act different. And he could pull off the Playboy thing. Well, it's duh, a Batman that's... part. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you never know, because he hasn't really watched Daredevil. And the uncut version, he act, he does act... Like, I can see him as Batman if he does it like that. No. Yes. No. Yes. Nope. Because yes, Batman... Yes, yes, Batman, yes, yes, like, yes, yes, yes. No, because like Christian Bale, he did a decent job. He was all right. He had, I mean, he had to look, and he could play him very pretty well on both sides of the end. But he wasn't great in either one. 
But we're not going to get the Batman and, we and, all want. And that was, and the only reason why I like those movies was because it was directed by Christopher Nolan. If it wasn't directed by him, I wouldn't even care for him because I like his movies. Anything he does is good. But but Christian, you know. But the thing about the it's other not ones, just Ben Affleck. It's also just like New Godzilla movies. Probably ain't rewrites that those two did nothing had nothing to do about. That's probably going to get rewrites by actual good people. You never know. Because DC is going to want this to be good. They aren't going to take any chances of being shitty. They got so much writing on, like, writing on them right now. Trying to compete with Marvel. Mm-hmm. They will not want to fuck this up. Yeah, Green Lantern? Uh, no. That's fuck before that they were really trying to compete uh, with Marvel. That's before no, the Avengers came out. Yeah, that's before the Avengers came out. But uh, the Avengers was, you know, all the Marvel movies were doing pretty good. I know, but th- see, this is after the Avengers came out. It was so popular, they really want to compete right now because they're losing in sales of everything. And their cartoons are starting to suck now. Yeah, that's true. I like that new Batman's TV cartoon yeah. show. That, the that Batman of no fucking villains that any of us know. Yeah, Fucking old villains we barely know. What the fuck is that? Like The like, Walrus. Ooh, babyface. Ooh. No Joker. No fucking Riddler. How no do you Penguin. Know the Joker? No Catwoman. No Harley Quinn. Nobody. I mean, Harley Quinn, I guess if they're playing a classic Batman, you don't have to have Harley Quinn in it. But Joker, you gotta have Joker eventually. It's the fucking Joker. Batman cannot be Batman without the Joker. They're like yin yang. Yeah, well, that could be in another another conversation. But, you know, Ben Affleck, I mean, it's just, just, just something about him, you know? I mean, he's good in comedies, you know that. Because, you know, Kevin Smith movies are the ones he's been in. And then, you know, he can play a pretty good dramatic... I mean, I haven't seen Argo, but he's a pretty, he does a pretty good job on that. And But, see, Batman has a certain... It just has this thing it's that... It's basically the same thing that makes Batman. As and we said about Zack Snyder, it's just, there's a small... No, well, to me, it's, it's small. It's bigger than small. But not very... It's not the best chance of him doing it great, but there is a chance he will. Yeah. Uh, very small. If you take Zack Snyder's good chance and his good chance, it might be a good movie. Mm-hmm. It might just be a good movie. We want a great Batman. We waiting for, since before I was born, with all us fans were waiting for a great, great, amazing Batman. I don't think we're ever gonna get that. Well, Michael Keaton was the closest you're gonna get. I, other, honestly, than, other than the cartoon, the, the Kevin Conroy one, the Batman animated series. That's probably definitely the best, I think. But the, in all the movies, I think Michael Keaton's the best. That's my opinion. Because, for one, he could play a, a billionaire, but when he was off screen, and he was actually still Bruce Wayne, even though, you know, he was still Bruce Wayne. Batman, he did a pretty good job. He didn't have to his voice. Yes, I like and he just did a pretty good job because, you know, he could act, you know, you, t- you tell. You can tell he's being different than yeah, when he's Batman. Yeah. You can tell it's a- well, well, you can, you can tell a little bit, but you can tell that there's almost a darkness in Bruce Wayne. Like, before he's not even Batman. Because, you know, Batman is really dark, and, you know, what's his name is really light. But you can, with Michael Keaton's performance, you can actually see it, see his madness. There's something about him. There's something about him. There's nobody, no other actor has done that at all. And Ben Affleck, I cannot see him add subtlety to, to you know, uh, Bruce Wayne being a playboy. But also having that dark, just, just there's something about him that's dark. And you know there's something... Kind of, I don't know, you know again, on Daredevil, he did act like that there's there, there's something with him, but no one knows what it is, and it might he might do that way, you just never know. No, I, I, it's, it's gonna, gonna suck, I know it is, it's not gonna that's suck. my opinion, it's gonna suck. Your opinion is wrong. Nope, it's not wrong, I'm right, I know I am right, because it's been fucking Affleck, he's not You're gonna wrong. be a good Batman, I don't Bat care. Batfleck is gonna be amazing. No, it's not. Well, there's a small chance he will be. No, it's not. Yes, he will. No, it's not. Yes, he will. He will. He will. Nope, he will. nope, he will. nope, he will. nope, 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 nope. Nope, if it not. If it up your ass out your mouth. Fuck you. Well, uh, Zack Snyder also, fuck you, because you're going to ruin it too, because you cannot well, write worth a shit. I didn't say that, he did. It had nothing to do with me. I like you, Zack Snyder. He can write a good action flick, and he can, he can write, you know, okay, decent actors, characters, but when it comes to, like, iconic characters, I mean, oh, I mean, really, I mean, you know, I guess Leonidas is iconic, I guess. But, I mean, even him... The Watchmen, the guys... The yeah, like big I said... The guy in the big blue penis. Uh, that's pretty, uh, I didn't really care for well, that It was more Rorschach that was... Yeah, the... Rorschach, that was the only, probably his only character ever written. And the good... The, well, like I said, that movie was written by... David, or It was written by... Dave F. Scoyer. S. Scoyer. Right? And, but it's also written by David Hayter, which is also player who plays Snake 
in the, you know, Metal Gear Solid, he also wrote the screenplay, which he wrote the X-Men, first two X-Men movies, too. Which, that's probably the reason why I was, I actually wish that was probably good to begin with, because it had them two writers, and not Zack Snyder. So that, see, he's good with directing movies, he just don't need to, he needs to stay he with did. script writing. Not him, but DC picked out Michael Cranston, and, as to play Lex Luthor, you know, the guy from, Ma the dad from Malcolm in the Middle, and he's in Breaking Bad, he's the main guy, and he's good in both. And you never know. He probably might be the only good thing about the movie. Maybe. Because I've seen movies. I mean, he's a good actor. And he's good in, you know, that one show. What is it again? Breaking, Breaking Bad. Because I never watched it. But he's one of those actors that, you know, with under a good director, he's good. But once on the bad director, he kind of just sucks. There was this one movie he was in as the bad guy. I can't remember what it was. But he did, he was kind of just lame. Like, he was just boring as hell. I was like, really? That's... Brian Cranston, you know, this amazing actor, you know, playing that, I'm like, well, that means that's a possibility it can be bad. Yeah. Basically, if maybe it was someone working with Zack Snyder doing it, like a better director, no, I like Zack Snyder, uh, I think that, but if it was someone that was good for what needs to be done with Batman and, like, character, and if Zack Snyder could do the parts with the action stuff, if it was like that Yeah, together, that would make more sense, because he's a good director when it comes to action and and stuff like that, but... As long as they don't fucking take Michael Bay and help do that. Fuck you, Michael Bay. Stop ruining our fucking childhoods. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, Michael Bay's movies really... I mean, his movies aren't really that bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Explosion. <laughs> What's wrong with the explosion? Explosion. explosion. Titties. <laughs> Explosion. No, pretty much, it's if his if his movie ain't sappy, like it's something like Pearl Harbor, or if it ain't freaking you know explosion explosions, and it's not Transformers. They can make a decent movie. There's The Rock, which is good. Armageddon, Pain and Pain and Gain. Pain and Gain sucked. I hate exactly. It but that doesn't matter because I still like the I still like the movie he did with. Uh, I say Michael Bay, stay away from Man of Steel too. If they say it, two directors, uh, or well, they're not Zach Star gets that. help. He, not, not two directors, but gets help. At least that'd be someone good. Yeah, which this time they're not gonna have Christopher Nolan to help this time. Like as much as oh he wait, did wait the they first already time. do. Mark Miller, fucking Mark Miller, the guy who actually helped write a lot of bad books and knows the character of Bruce Wayne. He's the one that'll probably actually make or break the movie. Maybe he's I, a consultant on it and he's the one helping yeah. everything. But I've seen movies where he had many great consultants, many great stuff, and the movie turned out to be shit. So I mean, I'm just but saying. But this is Mark could, Miller, I mean, though. This doesn't is matter. This, this is the reason why matter. the new Exa movies are gonna be great. It's like John Carpenter cause... or something. Sometimes the movies he writes are really shitty, but then some of the other movies are really good. So you never know if it could be bad or not, even if it's directed by Mark Miller or not. So there's always a negative to each positive, and with Zack Snyder and with Ben Affleck, also too much Mark Miller also created Kick Ass, the whole thing of it too. Yeah, I know, but but still, I mean... You never know. He might be actually helping just write him out, but it yeah. all depends on what DC wants. Yeah, and DC is... If DC fucks up in this, then they fuck themselves. Cause yeah, pretty much. And they're they're with this Marvel, up once. If they fuck this up, then they're never going to compete with Marvel, ever. It doesn't matter what they put out. They put Justice League out, and it'll probably be half-assed Justice League, and it's not going to work. Yeah, I know, and I bet you a million dollars it does that, too. Because they're going to rush the Justice League. Yeah. They're going to probably try and work on Justice League. Oh, yeah, they are. That's what they said. They are going to work on yes. Justice League right after Man of Steel 2. Yep. And they're going to make a Flash. I, I want to see a Flash movie. They talk about making that on the side. And that's the one I actually want to see more than Man of Steel 2 or Justice League. As long as they get the right actor, the right director, they put him being a womanizing smartass on it, then that'll be awesome. Because, well, Mitchell here hasn't seen... Flash, Flash, uh, Flash, Just League movie, Flashpoint. I'll show him sometime. The Flash is awesome in it, and it kind of makes it kind of gets you into the Flash character. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Just League cartoon where he's like flirting with every girl and everything and fails miserably is pretty funny. Or even they might get the guy from Smallville to play Lex Luthor, who was the Flash's voice in Just League cartoon to play the Flash. That'd be awesome because he's right around the age that he's not. Yeah. He's like in his mid thirties now, I think. He's like, in his mid-30s, he make a good flash. Well, but basically, bet for Batfleck, and he is... Be better if you like the... Fuck the, you and... Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's gonna blow, it's gonna blow, it's gonna fucking suck. Well, this is the Scream Team, and... 
Well, you can see, I'm pro. And I'm fuck you, Ben Affleck. Batman, you shithead. Batflick, hope you do good. I hope you do too, but you're not. I think you will. Nope. You nope. will. Nope. You will. You nope. will. You nope. will. Nope. You will. You will.